Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live. And if you're still alive in your survivor pool, congratulations as we enter week seven. I am still alive. The first five weeks, I really didn't have to sweat it out. Let's see if I can remember. Week one, Baltimore over Houston. Week two, Dallas over Jets. Week three, Kansas City over Chicago. Week four, San Fran over Arizona. Week five, Miami over Giants. Week six, I thought long and hard about taking the Rams over the Cardinals. I took the Bills over the Giants and really had to Keith sweat that one out. Um, I am a Giants fan. I was rooting for the Giants to win. Didn't happen. I still ended up surviving in my survivor pool. I try not to be biased. I thought the Bills were the best pick. Barely move on, but let's take a look at the Week 7 schedule. Now, when I looked at it, um, it really didn't take me long to figure out who I wanted to take. But let's take a look at the whole schedule. Let's take a look at the survivor grid. Let's get into it. Starting with the Thursday night game, Jacksonville at New Orleans. New Orleans, man, what is going on with their offense? Even with Alvin Kamara back, not getting it going. Jacksonville has been playing a bit better of late. Um, lead the AFC North, South, sorry. Uh, then the Sunday games, no early game, no London game. So we start with the Raiders at the Bears. Will Justin Fields play? Uh, but even if he doesn't, can you really take the Raiders on the road? Cleveland at Indianapolis. Cleveland's defense, man. Uh, shut down the 49ers like no other team has before. Um, Gardner Minshew will get yet another start for the Colts. Buffalo at New England. Um, if you didn't take Buffalo, I think a lot of people may be taking them. I personally don't necessarily like taking road teams, uh, although sometimes maybe later in your survivor pool you may have to. But New England looking like probably one of the three or four worst teams in the NFL. Although last two weeks, Buffalo hasn't really gotten the scoring going. Commanders at Giants. Can you really touch that game? Uh, Commanders are 3-3, three and three, but probably arguably the weakest 3-3 three and three team, maybe other than Atlanta, who they just beat at Tampa Bay. Baker Mayfield had his worst game as a Buccaneer uh, against the Lions. Um, tough game, though. Um, Desmond Ritter has thrown over 300 yards each last two games, but has thrown a lot of unnecessary interceptions. Detroit at Baltimore, uh, one of the best games of the week, so hard to take a team there. Um Jared Goff, don't look now. To me, he's top three to five in MVP right now. Uh, Detroit has looked awesome and honestly looks like they could contend in the NFC. Baltimore arguably could be 6-0. and Instead, they're 4-2. and Pittsburgh at the Rams. Steelers, again, under Mike Tomlin, over 500. Never had a losing record with them. 3-2. and two. Despite an inept offense, and the Rams have played very well. Cooper Cup looking like he hasn't missed a beat in his first two games. Arizona at Seattle. Um, Arizona has played admirably this season. Despite that, they are still 1-5. Many predicted them to be the worst team in the NFL entering the season. Seattle, Geno Smith really hasn't performed well the past few games. Uh, they really, really need to win this game. Green Bay at Denver. Uh, Jordan Love started off the season hot. Has faded immensely. Uh, this has to be a rebound game for him against D Denver. Just like New England. Arguably one of the three or four worst teams in the NFL. Chargers at Chiefs. It's early, but again, the Chargers look like one of the most disappointing teams in the NFL. Seems to be the case for the past, I don't know, three or four years. Uh, lost to the Cowboys last night to fall under 500 at 2-3. and three. Chiefs really haven't clicked on all cylinders yet this season, especially on offense. The defense has performed more than admirably, though. And... Um, you know, we'll see if the offense can get it going. Really don't have that top flight receiver. Uh, is Rasheed Rice now their number one receiver? Uh, but Chiefs probably should win that game. 
Um, but I'm sure a lot of you have taken the Chiefs as I have. Dolphins at Eagles. Great Sunday night game. That That is the game of the week. Second game of the week would be Detroit at Baltimore. Um, so obviously a game of the week uh, between the two best teams. Very hard to... Um, you know, take a team and survivor, so you can't touch that. And then our Monday night game, San Fran at Minnesota. Again, as I mentioned, I don't like taking road teams, at least not early on. Um, even though it's getting close to not being early on as we're in week seven. Um, but San Fran, uh, coming off their first loss of the season, finally looked human, the team at least. Uh, but Injuries to Christian McCaffrey and Debo Samuel. I don't know if they're going to be ready for this game. So they would be a tough team to take, even against a Minnesota team that is struggling at 2-4 and four without Justin Jefferson. Of course, we have three less games than we did early on in the season as six teams have a bye. The Bengals, Cowboys, Titans, Jets, Panthers, and Texans. Let's take a look at the Survivor Grid via SurvivorGrid.com. Um, so two teams are heaven, heavy, heavily, not heavenly, heavily picked um, and easily the team most often taken is the Seattle Seahawks taken by 52.2% of people thus far. Uh, the Bills 16.9% at New England. I have taken the Bills. I cannot take them. After those two teams, the highest percent taken, 5.3%, the 49ers over the Vikings. But again, with no Chris, probably no Christian McCaffrey. Um, we saw Brock Pur Purdy look much more mortal than he did in his first 10 starts. Um, but for me, it's an easy choice. And I'm going with the chalk. As I mentioned, more than half the survivor participants are taking the Seattle Seahawks, and I have to agree with them. Again, the Cardinals have played admirably this season, but it has not resulted in wins, and um, they they haven't been playing as well in the past couple weeks. Joshua Dobbs has come more down to earth. Running back James Conner is out. Um, Seattle Seahawks coming off a tough loss against the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, I expect Geno Smith to play much better in this game and the Seahawks win. Um, again, pretty much need this game if they want to say they are a playoff team in the NFC. So I am going with the Seattle Seahawks to stay alive in Survivor. Let me know in the comments who you are Taking in this week's Survivor, let me quickly take a look at the Seahawks schedule to see if they may have, anyone may have taken them in previous weeks. So we take a look at their schedule. Uh, Rams week one, some people may have taken them, probably no one really in week two at Detroit. Week three against the Panthers, some people may have taken them, but we didn't know back then that Carolina would still be winless. Week four at the Giants. Uh, so they've played some not very good teams. And then at the Bengals, probably very little people took them. Three and two. They really need to move to four and two in this game. Uh, but hopefully when I do this next week, I am still alive as we enter week eight. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.